what we have here is a Soviet Geiger counter box. This is from the 1970s through the 80s. There's no way for me to date it, although there is a serial number on it. I'll show you that. Right there. There's some Cyrillic characters in there, the first two actually. It's pretty interesting. It's older because it has the uh, flathead screws on it. I'm assuming this is the model designation because it's also on a different part of the box. These are the hinges on one side. And on the other side we have the latch. Look at that awesome, sort of a strange, I'm not sure how you describe it, like a marbling almost. This is made out of Bakelite. Technically I think it's called AG4 and there's a longer name I can't pronounce. But I can put it in the title of the video. It's a fun word to try to pronounce. If you look closely, you can see little fibers inside of this. This is Bakelite, as mentioned before. It's an early plastic. In fact, I think it's the first plastic that used synthetic materials. You would never really want to grind this down or cut into it without a lot of uh, personal protective equipment because there's probably some dangerous things inside of there. Pretty cool. I'm going to have to open it up and show you what's inside. A little spring-loaded flash here opens up. For those of you who don't know, a Geiger counter is a device that detects radioactivity levels. Obviously during the Cold War that was something that they wanted to have an abundance of. So you could use this for a little storage, little storage area for things. I don't put anything in there right now, I just use it as a home decor thing. It's closes like that, pretty simple. On the bottom here we have, this is actually a pretty good illustration of the materials they used to make this. Also the uh, model number below. So pretty interesting, kind of a neat piece. Paid way more than I probably should have for it, but they dry up, you don't see them for sale very often. There's a longer version of this as well, it's probably twice as long. It's kind of cool, kind of a vintage thing, so I'm gonna sign off for now, bye bye.